All right, guys, today we're going to talk about some really epic summer blades. Now, summer isn't quite here, but by the time you see this video, hopefully it will be. So without any further ado, let's jump into some really cool summer blades. All right, so first up, I think we're gonna choose some based options as I made another video about like top five based knives. Just knives that are super unassuming, super uncaring, and just fly in the face of EDC knife world or life. So the first one for me, I think is going to be the some form of Alox Victorinox. Now this one is a farmer. I would probably choose like a farmer or maybe Pioneer X if I was going full on EDC with a Swiss Army knife. But these guys, the Alox models are thin, slender, and slip into a pocket or a pocket slip super, super well. So you'd be hard pressed to beat like a Farmer X or a Pioneer X, super great knives. Next one up is going to be another based option, and that is an old school Leatherman. Something like the PST or Super Tool, like the OG Super Tool, are going to be super, super based options because they're not the most user friendly, but they do work like 100% of the time. So this one here, of course, is an old school Leatherman PST. And for it, you know, you get your one straight blade, but you also get a lot of other tools that are fairly useful. I will say these old school um, Leatherman the biggest thing I disliked about them is they seem to hyper specialize into flathead screwdrivers. So you get like 15 flathead screwdrivers, but these guys are very easy once again to slip in a pocket slip um, or maybe like a belt pouch or even a pocket if you really want. Because something like this PST, you guys can see here, like let me put it up against, let's just say, um, yeah, we'll go with this guy. So this is a mini Adamus by Benchmade, the son that most people should know about. So you can see that this thing is about the same height height hopefully you guys can see there about the same height or length that's actually just a little bit shorter than a mini adamus and it's about the same thickness so like honestly when it comes to like pocket friendly tools this pocket survival tool or pst is actually very very practical all right, now let's jump into some knives. Now for summer knives, the reason or the main kind of idea for choice or thought behind the process of it is that I was looking for super, super pocket friendly knives. So the first one up for me is, as I totally failed to deploy it, the Spyderco Smock. Now this is not the cheapest knife on the list. Um, actually, yeah, no, it's definitely not. But uh, yeah, this guy is really cool. And once again, it is a super streamlined, super thin and pocket friendly knife. That's why I chose chose it that's why I chose it with such high preference is because if you're looking for something that's very much like a Benchmade 940 Osborne, this is going to be very similar to those. It's very streamlined, very slim, and very pocket friendly. So it may not always be the most comfortable to use. Um, personally, I think it fits me pretty good. I don't have any issues with it. I like the fact you can choke up on it. Um, and the reverse compression lock with the button is super, super user friendly. So really hard to go wrong with. It's definitely Definitely the thinnest or like most slim knife on the list. All right, so next one up is going to be the Delica 4 by Spyderco. So this is the other Spyderco I chose. And once again, I'm just thinking of like shorts, sandals. This guy is a pretty good option for, you know, running things that are going to be a little bit more loose fitting. You know, you don't have to run a belt. These things are gonna be very lightweight, very thin, very pocket friendly. So this is my Delica 4, it's in K390, but I think any Delica 4 within reason could work really well. And especially if you wanted like, say, uh, I think where the Spyderco Delica would really shine is in like, h2 or h1 uh, steels so super corrosion resistant or a knife where you can really just forget about you know the maintenance you don't really have to think or worry um, about it getting salt water on it and so that is definitely a really good choice Next one up is going to be the Emerson Minicom. Now the Minicom is definitely a more unique knife. Some people don't love Emerson, so this one's just gonna be out on their list. But I think that the Minicom overall is a really solid choice. I would highly recommend it. I, I'm a little bit partial to Emerson's and the Minicom as a whole. You know, some people, once again, really don't like these knives. Some people don't like Emerson, but if you're looking for a very pocket-friendly, very carryable em Emerson, this is probably the best that there is outside of, I will say the A100. The A100 would be very similar to the smock. So anyways, um, 
Now let's jump into some more. So the next one up is going to be the thinnest knife on the list, and that is the TRM Neutron. Now, whether you go with the Neutron or the Atom, these guys have phenomenal actions. Once again, super, super thin. I've talked about this knife in workout videos, um, like, you know, knives that I carry while like doing things like trail running. Um, this knife obviously makes a lot of sense if you're not going to be wearing, you know, like once again, a, a pants with a belt, you know, lots of support. If you're trying to, you know, just wear casual, you know, joggers or something like that, this is going to fit very, very well in those types of situ situations and circumstances. All right, next one up that is very similar to the TRM Neutron is going to be the Hogue Deca. Now, honestly, I could also say that another one that goes hand in hand with the Hogue Deca is the Benchmade Bug Out. So both of these, for very similar reasons to the TRM, are on this list. They are very, very lightweight knives, very durable, and within reason. Once again, if you're going to be wearing like bulked down clothes, you're thinking more about you know not overheating. These are super nice uh, knives to throw in you know your shorts pocket and just forget about them. Uh, I will say I do give a slight edge to the Hogue Deca because it does have um, magna cut steel so it's going to be slightly more corrosion resistant than CPM 20 CV but they're both pretty darn good not gonna lie. All right, next one up is going to be a little bit thicker, but this guy is the smallest knife on the list. So I feel like its overall size kind of balances out its additional thickness. So she's a little bit thicker, but uh, this of course is the McNeese Mac 2. And the Mac, the Mac 2 is just super small, super compact, and uh, it really gets the job done. It's a basic EDC knife. You're not gonna be doing anything too crazy or too fancy with it. But once again, it fits in well and who can get over that beautifully tuned action. Oh my gosh, these things are so nice. Um, I really do like these old Mac 2s. Um, of course, they do come in a larger variation, the three and a half variant, but I chose the three inch variation for this specifically because it's going to be a little bit more pocket friendly than the three and a half inch model. All right, last one up on the list, as we've gone through these pretty quickly, I will say, um, is going to be one of my personal favorites, and that is the Benchmade Mini Adamus. Now, the Mini Adamus for me is a very um, love-hate story. I don't love the lockup on it, though I do think I actually found out the problem, or at least a solution to the problem with the lockup on this guy. But overall, I do really love the form factor, the carryability, the comfort in hand. Overall, the Benchmade Mini Adamus is a really, really cool tool. So it's a nice knife. It's very, once again, pocket friendly, great for summer. Um, this definitely runs on the heavier side. I think this is probably the heaviest knife um, outside of the Leatherman. So take that for what it's worth. But if you can afford to have that little bit heavier knife, uh, I think the Mini Adamus is a really great option. All right, guys, that has been my summer knife list. Hopefully you make the most of the summer. Get out, enjoy yourself, have fun, and live your summer. That's what we love to do in Alaska uh, for sure. But anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.